occupancy of the climate crisis. Staying on topic with the climate, let's take a look at our weather forecast in downtown Bakersfield. Overall, a really nice night tonight. Rosar Simone joining us now because overall we've had a nice day despite the little bit of rain and now good changes are on the way to our forecast. Absolutely, Brianna. That is a perfect recap. I mean, taking a look at today, it was a little bit nippy, 65 degrees in, fluctuating a little bit lower than that. We did have that 50% chance of rain and if you guys were outside today, you might have got stuck in some showers out there. I know I did, but they were light. <laughs> the winds were between 5 and 10 miles per hour, but I want to talk about what we're experiencing right now. So right now it's 56 degrees out there. We are in the 50s. I know it's chilly out if you're out right now. Our dew point is at 44 degrees and over the past 24 hours, we really haven't had a temperature change. Now our winds are coming from the north at six miles per hour and our visibility is at 10 miles, so we do not have a fog advisory in sight. Now with those storms came some good air quality. We were at 48 today and fortunately for us that does persist into tomorrow. Now what I want to do here is take a moment and wish everyone in Kern County a happy Earth Day as we round out these last few minutes here. Let me scooch on out the way. If you're going out late night, it's going to be mostly clear in this hour, but it's going to get a little bit cloudier as we approach 3 a.m. hour, but it'll jump back to clear as we approach the next day at 7 a.m. Now taking a look at Saturday, we do inch up in temperature just a little bit there to 72 degrees. It's going to start out a little bit nippy at 52, but it's going to be a clear day ahead. Now those winds are coming from the north northwest at five miles per hour, but check out the evening. We can get some wind gusts up to 15 miles per hour out there. Now Sunday, this is where things get interesting. We jump into the 80s and you can expect a sunny day ahead for your Sunday brunch. There's going to be clear skies into the evening hours and those calm winds from the north northwest again at five miles per hour, but we're going to be grateful for them because it's going to be a scorcher out there. It's going to be a lot warmer than what we experienced on Friday. As you can see, the temperature jumps up quite a bit there. Now taking a look here at the Valley Super 7 day forecast. I know the slide is very exciting. I want you to take a look first at Monday. It's going to be 87 degrees there on Monday. I mean, that's summer. I mean, that's hot on Tuesday. It follows suit even into Wednesday. We're still in the 80s and we finally drop down to the 70s when we get to Thursday and Friday. Taking a look at our mountain seven day forecast. Now they are on a roller coaster here. Lake Isabella is going to start out Saturday at 68, then get into the 70s and then the 80s and the 70s and then round out at 71 on Thursday. Tatchby starts out at 45 degrees. Very cold. I know then they get into the 50s, the 60s, the 70s and then into the 60s. Now Fraser Park follows suit at 46 they get into the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, and round out at 63 on Thursday. So everyone, just get ready for everything. Thank you, Rosa.